And here is the third question for the working committee. What are the rules to get a letter of recommendation for an entry visa for a resident of Vauroville? It has been always a task of the working committee to recommend visas for the foreign Oravillians. And um, the recommendations are usually given for one year or five years under certain criteria. The criteria are in general what are your activities in Auroville, where are you working, uh, in which places, for how long have you been here, and, and then if you are in the ROR, if you are inscribed, and yeah, very basic criteria. But reviewing these um, visas, one of my personal findings is that I have seen a repeatedly number of cases in which the work is not very clear. I have seen that, for example, artists, there is a number of artists that we were detecting, that uh, they are telling that they are fully engaged in, in the artist's work. And when I was asking to some of them, okay, can you show me the work that you have done, what have you produced in the last year, all the answers were very vague. I was seeing that practically they were doing very little in Auroville for the community. I think that this is an aspect that should be reviewed in the context of Auroville. In my opinion, there are plenty of people that are not very committed to Auroville as such in one of the multiple areas of Auroville. And then, as such, the community suffer of this. If Auroville should be a place in which the karma yoga should be one of the most determinant aspects of our life here. I can see that this is a very weak point for plenty of people. I think that Auroville has been the original spirit of Auroville, which was a place to do yoga. I think that little by little the, this spirit has been diluted and it's becoming more and more what I call, I call now the Club Mediterranean, in which everybody is very comfortable, but the demanding of a life dedicated to yoga with a very high aspirations and the will to change yourself, to change the community, is very low in general. I have been diluted this. It's my main concern right now is what I have seen dealing with all these uh, pieces, extensions and the explanations that the people are giving. There is an uh, entry visa given to, for Orville, which is very generous of the Home Ministry to do that for Orville. I don't know of any other place in India, I may be mistaken, but I don't know any other place where so generously entry visas are given and we are becoming residents of India. So we should not play around and misuse this opportunity of this grace what is given to us. And uh, I see here that some people will take it very easy. They are out of Oroville for a long time, while the rules are actually saying you have to be in Oroville for nine months. You can be out for three months, but not longer than that. And people leave for extended times, don't come back, you know, they use Oroville as second homes or whatever, don't work properly. And this is a problem which we will face with the visa if it goes on in that line, that visa is given to live and work in Oroville.